One of the things that we want to accomplish is not only symptomatic control, but also improvement in quality of life and functioning. So whereas many times, um, if somebody has a history of, um, has had a history of stroke, you're going to want to help them with their ambulation and with their cognition and with their uh, communication skills. Uh, and those are gonna be primary treatment targets. Ultimately, they want to have uh, an improved quality of life also in functioning. In functional neurological disorders, uh, the symptom that brings the patient in many, time, many times is the tremor or the weakness or the seizure. We'll start with that because that's, we wanna meet the patient where they are and walk with them the next step forward. But we don't stay with just the seizure or the tremor. We also look at the other aspects that are affecting their quality of life and their functioning, and we'll go after those too with treatment. There are a bunch of different types of psychotherapies. And uh, interestingly, a neurologist came up with psychoanalysis, interestingly, with Freud. And then a psychiatrist, Beck, came up with cognitive behavioral therapy. And now after years of um, of newer uh, findings and understandings. Now, as a neurologist and a psychiatrist, I've tried to integrate both some dynamic elements and some cognitive behavioral elements, and that's what we have with neurobehavioral therapy. And with neurobehavioral therapy, um, we use the best of the different therapeutic modalities to target the known pathologies in our patients. So we will use some classic uh, conventional cognitive behavioral elements, uh, such as relaxation training. But we're also going to use some other techniques, such as distress tolerance from a dialectical perspective. We're going to use um, education to make sure the patient knows what their diagnosis is and what treatments work and don't work for conversion disorder. We're also going to uh, incorporate interpersonal therapy. A lot of times the communication pattern has been um, affected in many of our patients with FND. So we're going to equip them with tools for healthy communication. Once they've got those foundations in place, then we can move into more dynamic issues to be able to associate the then and there with the here and now and bringing those together, they can create a link where they can use the tools to break those links.